guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to change your photo into a wintry, snowy scene inside of Photoshop. Now, there are a lot of ways to do this, and I want to show you a few ways that I think are pretty simple and that you should be able to easily follow along with. Now, if you're like me and live in the desert or a place where it doesn't snow often, this technique is very helpful. And I would love to know too, where are you guys at right now? Are you somewhere where it is already snowy or maybe it hasn't snowed yet or maybe it never snows? I always love to connect with you guys. I'd love to know who's watching, where you guys are watching from. So if you leave a comment below, I always check those out. All right, let's get started, you guys. We're going to create a new adjustment layer first. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom right-hand side, and I'm gonna click this circle that looks like a half uh, black, half white circle, and we're going to choose Channel Mixer. Now, from here, we'll have a new pop-up that shows up directly above those adjustment layers. You're gonna make sure that the output channel stays on red, and it probably will already be there. If you look directly above where it says preset, it most likely will say default for you. We're going to want to change that by clicking on it and selecting black and white infrared RGB. It should be the first one there. So let's click there and you'll see it changes in your image. Now, as you get a little more advanced, you can play around slightly with these color sliders to really get more in tune with the individual photo that you're working with. Now, I know this doesn't look wintry right now, but we're going to do one thing to start to change that. Come down to your blending mode, and with the channel mixer adjustment layer still selected, we're gonna turn that blend mode from normal to lighten. And you see when we do that, the background of our image suddenly looks a little more wintry and our subjects still stay the same. Now, if you get some of your subjects looking a little too wintry, you can always brush off with a soft black brush on the layer mask, which is right here on that channel mixer layer. Now, for me, this is looking still a little bit too gray. I want to lighten and brighten it up and make it more white. So I'm going to choose another adjustment layer and go to brightness and contrast. From here, I'm going to take the brightness slider and just move that up slightly to your liking. There's no magic number here. It's going to be different for every photo. So I'm just gonna bring that up slightly and I'm liking the way that looks there, but it's still looking a little bit too gray for me in the back. I wanna bring some whites out. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna create a selective color layer to really bring a lot of the grays out and make it more white and wintry. So let's create a selective color layer here. And with neutral selected, because the majority of the background is not white yet, it's still more of a neutral color, we're gonna pull the blacks out of the neutral. So I have neutral selected, and I'm gonna go down to the black slider, and we're gonna pull those blacks out to create a whiter look and a more snowy look too. And again, there's no magic number here. You're just gonna pull it down to where you think it looks best for the photo you are working with. Now, I don't love how it looks on my subjects, so clicking on that layer mask in the selective color layer, I'm gonna grab my brush, make sure it's set to black, and I'm gonna brush over my subjects so that that selective color layer does not affect them. And there you have it, you guys. That's three ways that you can create a wintry scene in a really simple way. Now, as you get more advanced, you can tweak these more toward your individual photos and more toward your liking. But let's take a look right here and let's just group these together and see the before and after. So I'm just going through and I'm going to select all of these layers here. And I just am hitting control and then clicking to select all of them. And then I right click and I'm going to group from layers. Okay. And I'm doing this only so that you guys can see the before and after. Okay. So there's the before 
And there's the after with the three things that I just shared with you how to do to create a wintry scene. Now, if you guys try this, I always love to see your results. So if you're over on Instagram, make sure to tag me or put the photo up in your stories. My handle over there is at Cozy Clicks. And I'm always checking that out. And I always love to see what you create. And if you're not on Instagram, just leave me a comment below that you've tried it or you're going to try it. I love to hear how it turned out for you guys too. If you haven't subscribed to the Cozy Clicks YouTube channel yet, I would absolutely love if you would. I appreciate your subscriptions. I appreciate your thumbs up, likes, and your comments on my channel. And I will be back again with future tutorials. Bye guys.